as part of our product testing, um, some seals are difficult to fully submerge underwater or the leak that people are looking for um, is so fine that uh, bubble test underwater won't show it up. And when we need to do that, we do what we call a pressure decay test. Um, and the way that works is you inflate the seal uh, with a valve and an ice, uh, a gauge and an isolation valve. Um, you leave the seal with continuous air on it for um, a period of time, 45 minutes to an hour. And that is to get this seal fully stretched out. Uh, any movement in the fabric or the rubber will change the air, cha the air chamber of the seal. And um, if the air chamber gets bigger, doesn't need as much air pressure, or there's, the volume doesn't produce as much air pressure, uh, will look like a leak. So to avoid that, we stretch the seal out. Once the seal has been stretched out, we uh, close the valve to isolate it, disconnect the air supply so we know it's been fully isolated, and then we wash the seal for a period of time. Um, depending on the application and the needs, this test could go anywhere from a half an hour to an hour to 24 hours. The 24 hour test is uh, kind of tricky because you have to take into account um, the temperature of the room. If you see a big change in the temperature, that can affect the air pressure in the seal and that would need to be accounted for in the test. Um, if the temperature goes up, the pressure will go up. Most customers are cool with the starting, the ending pressure is higher than the ending pressure, um, or starting pressure. But when it drops, they get a little nervous. We had a leak, so we got to make sure that temperature is constant or is accounted for. Uh, once the test is over, we just open up the valve and relieve the pressure.